when it comes to you know physical well-being, there's a huge mental component in there. It's more tricky than just weight because having an, a weight issue is really a lot of people have eating disorders and they're not even aware of it. I also know that when you're depressed, sometimes you'll just really eat a lot, eat a lot more. It's something, or I know some people when they're depressed, they don't eat at all. They should deal with the emotional and psychological aspects around food because food is not it necessarily. So, you know, of course, depression and anxiety can contribute to the weight gain, and it's so important to treat those in conjunction you know, treat the anxiety, treat the depression in conjunction with treating the weight. But I find that I'm typically able to cut back on those medications for depression and anxiety as the patient starts recognizing themselves in the mirror again. So injectable medications are certainly not FDA approved to help with anxiety and depression. I will say nearly 100% of patients, once they start feeling like themselves again, you know, once they're back to their ideal body weight or their lowest body weight, their depression and anxiety lifts.